Amen and amen and amen. Hallelujah. As we open up the word of God, you can turn and take the word, take your Bible and turn to the Acts of the Apostles. Chapter 2, verse 1, verse 2. That's the Acts of the Apostles. And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all with one accord, one accord in one place. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind. And it filled all the house where they were sitting. And there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as a fire. And it sat upon each of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. Amen. Amen. I just read the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 2, verses 1, verse 2. And we're talking about suddenly. Amen. Suddenly. A lot of times we think that we're praying on things and we're waiting on on the most high we're thinking that it's like multiple choice i know i've been through that i think it's got to be answer a like a multiple choice uh, exam because uh i've been praying on that i've been waiting on that i've been fasting on that and when it ain't answer a it's like well god come on god speak god give me a word god give me an answer for this season amen for this hardship that I'm dealing with this thing I'm this things I'm going through this trial I'm I, I'm dealing with amen in my life and some of you may know and may be going through that so you start praying you say well it's got to be answer B because we're thinking in our prayer life sometimes we put the most high in a box and so we want these little multiple choice answers to come about so when it ain't answer B we say well it's got to be C both A and B <laughs> and that's the answer answer C both A and B and when it ain't that some of us become upset with the Messiah. Amen. We become upset because we start wondering why is it why hasn't he answered prayer yet? You know, you don't gave your last tithe. You don't fasted all you can fast, prayed all you can pray. You're at the hem of his garment and you're wondering why. And how long? Like King David said, how long? So you say, if it ain't answer A, B, or C, it's got to be D. And you start getting excited because you're waiting on D. And next thing you know, it ain't that. <laughs> Touch your neighbor, say it ain't that. Amen. And a lot of times what I've experienced in my life is that the move of the Ruach, the move of the Holy Ghost, comes and answer E, letter E, none of the above. Because, see, we've been waiting for that answer to come in, a, in, 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 in the mailbox, in an email, in a text, in, in, in Instagram direct messaging and somewhere on the Facebook somebody's going to say something where is it coming from from the bank here there where is it coming from hallelujah but a lot of times the move of God and the answer of God is beyond our thoughts and our minds because his ways are not our ways and his thoughts are not our thoughts amen and he could do above and abundantly all we can ask or think so sometimes it's coming suddenly as a, a rushing mighty wind and then it fills the house and you start feeling it in your temple. Hallelujah. You start feeling like the answer is coming. Hallelujah. And not only does he give you what you've been praying for, waiting for, fasting for, believing God for, he gives you that extra mm, for the battle. And all the times it ain't always monetary. Hallelujah. It ain't always monetary. It could be healing. It could be uh, you, you in the midst of a war with, with Satan, filled with demons on every platform of your life, ready to give up, ready to lose your mind. Amen. And I know I'm talking to somebody. Hallelujah. 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 And then suddenly, you know, you don't gave your last time. You don't you, you ready to walk out on the church. Some of you ready to walk out on God. The one who said he never will leave you nor forsake you. Hallelujah. 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 And then here comes the Holy Ghost. Mm. Hallelujah. I feel good. <laughs> I feel like preaching. <laughs> Touch me, people say he feels like preaching. 
Hallelujah. But all I'm here to say today, because I'm always playing a little something, but just wanted to give you a preached word. Hallelujah. And that's that the Most High, and a lot of you know this already, but He will move suddenly on your behalf. And what God has for you is for you. It ain't for nobody else. See, a lot of times the holdup is because you on the phone telling somebody all your troubles. When you should be on your knees telling the Most High. Hallelujah. Getting in that secret place. Oh, hallelujah. And you got to wait. That's one of the fruits of the Spirit. Long suffering. And you're going to suffer with him, the rain with him. Amen. You got to know him in the fellowship of his sufferings. Amen. And then what happens?